A major development in the race for the White House this evening. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will put months of speculation to rest tomorrow when he officially announces that he is running for president. And he's doing it in a very surprising way. Sources tell our Kelly Meyer that DeSantis will make the announcement 24 hours from now on Twitter in a live discussion with CEO Elon Musk. DeSantis is the only candidate so far to give Trump some competition for the nomination, and he is hoping his official entry will shake up the race. Let's go to News Nation Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer with all the details. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Elizabeth. Like you said, it is a, you know, a different approach to take to do this on Twitter. We haven't seen anything like this before. And to do this in a conversation with Elon Musk, as someone that has a a vast reach on Twitter. He has some 140 million followers. Maybe that's something that uh, the Florida governor can tap into with this announcement. Uh, but they're going to do this in a conversation on Twitter spaces. It's a live audio chat that they will be having. Uh, it's interesting whether or not Elon will come out and officially endorse DeSantis. It's something that he hasn't officially said yet, though he has been an admirer of him in the past. They've been friends for quite a while. But Elon Musk has also tweeted in the past couple days about about uh, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who had just jumped into the race a few days ago. So it is interesting to see how this unravels. There's a lot to unpack on the reasons why they may be doing this on Twitter, why he's doing it this with Elon Musk. Uh, but this will be happening 6 p.m. Eastern uh, Wednesday night. Our sources confirm him jumping officially into this race. How long Elizabeth? is he expected to have this Twitter conversation with Elon Musk, and how is this going to work exactly? Yeah, so we were saying that it's on this Twitter Spaces portion, which is a, a live audio uh, discussion uh, moderated by uh, someone else. So the uh, be moderated by the host, and then the discussion between Elon and DeSantis. We don't have too many more details from the the soon-to-be campaign, the political team we've been talking to all day on what this is going to look like, what they're going to get into. We know in that conversation he's going to launch the campaign, but what else they may discuss? It's interesting. Both of them uh, really are proposed and talk about a lot about uh, free speech um, for Elon Musk. He's been trying to, uh, you know, under his leadership on the platform, bring in voices that may have felt silenced on that before, some conservative voices. That may be one of the reasons as well. DeSantis is also going over there. He may be uh, feeling and, and spreading that as well here in the state of Florida, talking about free speech and his policies um, and really trying to reach those conservative voices. It's interesting. He's bypassing, you know, general media platforms uh, and going right to Twitter to have this conversation with someone like Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon Musk has a lot of followers on Twitter, but he's also got a lot of baggage. He has said a lot of really controversial stuff. Yeah, that's right. And and I think also for DeSantis, some of his opinions or his bills here in the state of Florida can be seen as controversial as well. So they may uh, go into the discussion uh, that they have been focusing on both with free speech, uh, the conversation around woke policies that... Uh, Governor DeSantis has long said uh, woke is, uh, this, that's where it comes to die, is the state of Florida. Um, so they may have conversations around that as well. But focusing in on reaching out to those conservative voters may be a way to do this on a platform like Twitter. Um, it's interesting, though, this is a platform that former President Donald Trump had taken to quite a lot. You know, uh, we had him on our notifications here when we were covering him in Washington and we were getting pinged all the time. But he was taken off that uh, around the January 6th attack. And he still has yet to return, even though Elon Musk reinstated him. He's now on his own platform, Truth Social. So I don't know if that's a jab there from DeSantis to Trump that he's doing this on a platform that used to be his preferred platform of choice. Well, your Elizabeth. sources, Kelly, who, who revealed this plan to you today, clearly think the risks are worth the rewards or potential rewards. It will be, it'll be a very interesting way to see this as it unfolds tomorrow night. Kelly Meyer reporting live. Thanks so much for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.